morning S5. Uh, the purpose of this short uh, chat is about your learner pathways for sessions 21, 22. Now that maybe seems a wee bit far away and you may be thinking you've got plenty of other things to be thinking about just now. But I always find, and I hope you do too, is that it's nice to look forward and to think about some sort of normality that's going to be ahead of us soon. Before I go on and talk about that, I just want to mention that we've got the opportunity for a chat um, with Mr Wells and myself on Friday at 11.40 and that is just an opportunity to raise any concerns that you've got or any questions. So I look forward to seeing um, most of you at that on Friday. We're also looking forward to seeing some of you next week on your uh, phase return back to school. So uh, that's, that's exciting and we'll get more information about that out to you shortly. So back to the purpose of this, and it's about looking forward to your S6 experience. A really exciting time for you. Um, S6 is a big step and there's loads of opportunities available to you. Just going to run through some of the stuff that you probably already know, but just to make sure around what the course choice sheet looks like. Listen, I've dropped that into Teams for you and it's almost also been emailed out to you. Um, if I ask you to just to open that up just now, and if you go to the second page, which is the page that I've got on the screen behind me. The traditional courses, National 5, Higher and Advanced Higher courses are all in black text on the front. So just like previously, click on these and it'll take you to more information about the courses. It'll also tell you on that sheet, it gives some of them are linked to more videos, which I urge you to have a look at. And also, some of them are, um, there's also information about the member of staff that's going to be delivering that. Um, so you can get in touch with them and ask them more about it. It's more complicated for S6 choosing your pathway now because it may be that you've got the qualifications that you need in fifth year and it's what do you do, what does the S6 experience look like? And we really changed this a lot last year and we've got even more opportunities for you this year. And it may be that following the traditional advance moving on from higher to advanced higher isn't the right pathway and it may be that another higher is an opportunity for you instead or it may be that you want to do something completely different so it's really quite complicated for you and I urge you to think really hard before I go into the detail around that I'm just going to raise a few options that are new this year that, you, that you've maybe not been aware of we've got level 5 animation more opportunities in the art department We've got Level 5 Customer Service, a new and exciting course that is directed towards leavers. So it's directed to all of you guys. The Level 6 Young STEM Leaders. We've got an MPA in Team Sports, but there's other opportunities in the PE department as well that might be of more interest to you that we've offered in the past. Level 5 Scottish Studies. Level 6 Journalism. Um, that's new this year. It may be that you wanted to do that as a pathway from higher English if you're not wanting to do advanced higher English. It may be that you don't want to do higher English and you want to do journalism instead. Have a look at that, it looks really good. We've also got higher applications of maths which is running for the first time this year and that's your pathway from National 5 applications of maths. Um, there's a unit in performing music which is at levels 5, 6 and 7. And higher politics is another one that I want to mention. Uh, Again, new this year, and we've got level six mental health and wellbeing. We ran level five last year, so this is a you don't have to have completed level five before doing level six. And um, it's probably, a, I think, this is a really good course, particularly bearing in mind what we've been going through the past few months. Um, higher environmental science that's another one that's new this year, good pathway from any of the sciences or for geography. There's also the LEAPS transition course. Click on that link and find out a wee bit more about this. We're really lucky to be involved in this project. It was run as a pilot last year with Midlothian Council and we've got involved in it as well this year. So a really good opportunity if you're LEAPS eligible. Also what I mentioned about the advanced hires. You'll notice in column F there, we've got many advanced hires on offer through remote learning. Now, what that means is that you would do two periods a week online learning. So being taught either from a teacher from another school or from one of our teachers. But it'll all be it will all be done digitally. 
So that's that's new to the local authority this year, and I've put a list to all the the advanced hires that are being on offer. Now that's draft at the moment. So if you're interested in any other advanced hires, then you know you can let me know because it might be that the more will be on offer after that. It's quite quite hard to do that in dig, uh, remotely, um, but that it might meet the need for some of you. Uh, just so you know, it's our teachers at Gala Academy that are delivering this for English, maths, and physics. So that might sway your um, sway your thinking a little bit. What I've asked teachers to do is to complete a document which has got all your names listed on it and which says what would be the best pathway for you. So, for example, if you've done higher business this year and have done that well, a pathway might be for you to do higher economics this year. So that's been completed just now because it's such a complicated curriculum for you, for you guys. Um, what else do I want to mention? I think you've just got to start your research and really have a good look at everything that's on offer and ask your teachers. This, you know, S6, and ask current S6 pupils, S6 experience this year has really been about what, what meets the needs. It's not, a lot of them have got, their a lot of you have got your qualifications from last year. So we don't want you to waste a year, but we want to give you a lot of life experience. Um, so pastoral teachers are going to set up interviews with you over the next fortnight. Um, it's, it's really good if you can go prepared to that interview with information um, and with having, having had a good think about what you want to do. Not, not decisions made, of course, but just have an idea. I'm very quickly going to mention a bit about the Gala Leeds going for gold and this is an expectation for every single one of you. We started this last year um, we've got high expectations of every single one of you and it's not only about your learning but also about developing your leaderships and encouraging your personal growth and giving back something to the school community. Gala Leeds Going for Gold is a programme for all S6 pupils and by the end of S6 you'll have gained a Level 6 award in Leadership, a Bronze Award in Digital Literacy and an opportunity at starting the journey and getting a Gold Youth Achievement Award. Now, the start of the journey happens when you apply for a leadership opportunity in S6. And that could be to be in the head team, could be to be a prefect, could be to be a house captain, or it could be another leadership role like pupil council, subject ambassador, senior ambassador, digital ambassador, SCQF ambassador, being in the charities committee, loads of opportunities. So it's just a qualification that's linked to the application of your leadership. If you're flicking through the Course Choice Learner Pathway booklet, you'll see the Gala Leads Gone for Gold logo on some of the content. What, I, what that means is that it's going to be linked to that package of qualifications that we've got for you as well. So I just wanted to flag that up. You don't have to commit to anything around whether you don't even have to think just now if you're going to be on the head team. I'm just flagging that up to you that this is an expectation that we'll, we'll be getting back to you in due course. Okay, so in preparation for your interview with your pastoral teacher, one wee bit more information I need to say is what are the minimum requirements for sixth year? So this is where it gets really complicated, so bear with me. Three level seven qualifications minimum, or four level six, or five columns of, of level five and above. If you've discovered, for example, that you want to do cooking for life and it can't fit in, let me know. I'll do my best to try and make it work for you. I'm as flexible as possible. If you see things in two col the columns, particularly the short courses, let me know and I might can work something out. Because you end up having a wee bit of free time in sixth year, I can sometimes work out things, solutions for you. But don't ask too much. But do ask, you know, please do. Um, I think that's everything that I've got to mention. We're still promoting the Borges College Foundation Apprenticeships. Go to the page after this one and find out more information around that. That's everything for me. Look forward to seeing some of you next week. Look forward to us getting back to normal in the, in the future. Um, and look forward to seeing some of you at our quick wee chat on Friday. 
um, with anything that's bothering you. Okay, take care of yourselves and thanks for listening.